Hey guys, it's Cal here from uh, Chaos Sabers. Uh, this is another build that I've recently finished. This is uh, Dustin's uh, Satil Shan hilt. Uh, it starts off as a Saber Ford Grandmaster and he sent it to me to be etched in installed. So this is using my etch pattern that you can see here. Uh, designed this about uh, maybe in August 2014 maybe or 2015, I'm not, I don't quite remember. Uh, but I designed it quite some time ago when I was learning to do etching. Um, if you are interested in doing etching, I did make a tutorial, uh, which has um, been viewed quite a lot of times now. So uh, it's nice to see that lots of people are doing etching because it's a really fun process, and uh, it sort of adds a really cool effect to your saber. Uh, so Dustin sent this to me for the install and the etching. Obviously, you can see the etching there. I drilled and mounted the recharge port there, so that it can have easy access to pull and pull out the kill key. So whenever he wants to turn it on, he just pulls the kill key, like so, and he can. You can go from there. Change the sound point, you just hold the button down. And that's your other sound font. Now, uh, Dustin, if you do want to uh, sort of make changes to the SD card, you can. Um, this little screw here, you just undo that just slightly. Uh, that keeps the uh, chassis in place. Once again, I designed and printed a chassis on my Formlabs printer. Um, once again, it's just one of the most advanced printers that I've ever used. And you just slide it out. And you've got your recharge port access. If I just zoom in a bit more. It's a 28 millimeter speaker. You've got your recharge port access. Your Nano Biscotti soundboard is there. Um, if you just click underneath there, that's where the SD card slides out. And then you've got the uh, 18650 battery and the recharge port in there. When you're done, you can just slide it back in and just push very lightly. Once you see the recharge port is there, you can use the kill key, this machine kill key, sort of grab it, line it up, and then you can tighten this screw again, just until you feel resistance. Once you feel resistance, don't over tighten, just stop there. That's it, retaining the chassis, and you can screw your pommel straight back on, and you are ready to go again like so. So what I'll do is a, uh, I'll pop a, a blade inside this one. You guys can see what it's like with the blade. So that was the uh, blade demo there, guys, with the uh, Tri-Cree Blue Blue White LED. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, Dustin, I hope you like it. Uh, sorry for the delay in getting it um, sort of shipped out to you. I had to take the videos and stuff. I've been able to get a lot more done since the Etsy shop's been closed uh, whilst I was away. But uh, luckily it's given me some time to catch up on these things. So uh, I'll get this shipped out to you soon, get it all invoiced up, etc. And uh, yeah, if you like it, give it a like. If you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and click subscribe. And you can be notified of when I make new videos. Thanks again for watching as always, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.